Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am so excited to share with you a couple of new things that I picked up, um, a couple of new holiday things I picked up from Sephora, and I am primarily going to be talking about the new uh, Vice 3 palette. So, <laughs> so this time of year I find myself somewhat like a little bit in a feeding frenzy with all the holiday stuff coming out, all the limited edition palettes, and so I really try and show some restraint <laughs> to be very thoughtful about the ones that I pick out that I'm going to purchase because it's so easy to get kind of caught up into all that hype. There's so many great collections out there. But when I saw the Vice 3 palette, I was like, oh my, oh my, oh my, yes. I could not stop looking at it. I was so taken with it and I just, I couldn't wait for the Sephora sale because I didn't want to miss out on it in case it sold out before the Sephora sale came along. So yes, I went ahead and purchased it. So there already are a bunch of videos on YouTube talking about this palette, but I wanted to uh, come on here and share my thoughts about it and put my own personal spin on it because I certainly think I look at things in a slightly different way. And so one of the things that I really um, was so taken with is the amount of uh, neutrals that were in this palette. And I really liked the fun colors that were in this palette. So I, it, there was not one thing in there that I went, oh, I'm probably not going to use this, but I like everything else. I really, I didn't feel that way about this palette. So for me, I felt like it was a go from, from the minute I laid eyes on it. It also has a great um, mixture of, of matte uh, and shimmer and then some really nice metallics. So it really, it's not all shimmery, it's not all metallic, it's not all matte. It's just, it's such a great assortment of colors that you can, you know, use um, to create. Oh, I can't even imagine how many looks you could create with this. I also liked the way it was laid out, that each column kind of was its own like look or its own, had its own personality. And so I went ahead and created um, a look from each column to share with you in this video today. So this first look is going to be using exclusively the colors in this column here, the first column of colors in the palette. And uh, these are all neutrals and they're all matte and uh, I have to say they're pretty fabulous. So let me go ahead and tell you what I did uh, to achieve this look today. I started off with taking this uh, second color here which is called Undone and putting that all over my lid uh, just up to the crease. And then I took this kind of cool tone darker color down here called DTF and uh, put that in my crease and a little bit of the lightest color along my brow bone which is called Truth and then uh, under my eyes I lined with that last color again, this DTF and just line my lower lash line. I did not use this third color. Um, it's a little bit warmer and I kind of liked this cool look. So here are a few quick swatches of uh, the colors in this column. The first color is the lightest called Truth. The next color is uh, Undone. This is the one that's on my um, lid. This is Downfall. As you can see it's a little bit warmer than the other ones. And then the last one is DTF which is, oh my goodness, such a beautiful color. So for this look, I'm using um, pretty much exclusively uh, colors in this second row. There's obviously no brow bone highlight in this row, so I went in over here uh, to take care of that. 
And I did just focus on these bottom two shades because I did a fall pop of color look using the top two shades. So I will go ahead and include a link to that video if you haven't seen it so you can see those really awesome blue and green shades in action. So this is what I'm calling, you know, what I like to call a one and done eyeshadow look. It's pretty simple. I uh, started out by using the color Broke Down and I packed that all over my lid with just a little domed eyeshadow brush and just kind of packed it up from the lash to the kind of into the, not really into the crease, just kind of up to the crease. And I went ahead and used Truth uh, along my brow bone uh, because there is no obvious highlighting shade in that row. So I just took a big fluffy brush and blended broke down all the way up into my crease. I added a little color as I felt I needed but just really kind of built that up gradually because I didn't want a real heavy uh, dark uh, crease with this. I just kind of wanted a, just a general fade into the brow bone color. And then I went into the color Heroin, which is like a beautiful dark, almost navy blue color on a very uh, thin like liner type brush and lined the outer third of my upper lashes and uh, under my eyes I smudged a little broke down and uh, then lined the outer corner with that navy heroin uh, again. So here are some swatches of the colors from top to bottom. This is Dragon, Freeze, Heroin, and Broke Down. So for this look I am using the third uh, column of shadows. So I think this center grouping of colors creates a really beautiful fall inspired eye look. I just am crazy about the colors in this column. So I started off by taking the color Lucky on uh, just a domed shadow brush and just packing it on like the inner probably about almost a half of my lid from you know the lash line to the crease. And then I went into Vanity and uh, packed that on the lid with a slightly lighter hand, not too heavy, because it gets muddy if you go a little too heavy. So a slightly sheer application on the outer half of my lid. And I um, kind of blended those two together, kind of sweeping from the corner to the outer so that the um, purpley color had like a little mix of the um, metallic-y goldish color kind of fading into it and almost over the top of it. I really liked that kind of effect. And then I applied a little bit of rain in my crease. It's a really heavily pigmented color so just kind of start light and work your way up until you have the crease, the depth in your crease that you want and continue to blend that all together. And I went in under my brow bone with Bobby Dazzle, which looks like kind of a scary white and looks like it might be a little glittery, but it has a little glitter in it, but not overwhelmingly so. I don't feel like, um, I don't feel like I look like a disco ball up under my brow. So uh, certainly with some of these darker colors, you need a little brightness there. So I liked that under my brow quite a bit. And then I went and just smudged some of Vanity under my lower lash line to play up that kind of purpley look. But you could use Rain if you wanted to also. Either one of those would work well, but I liked the purpley one. So here are some swatches of the colors. This is Vanity, Lucky, Rain, and Bobby Dazzle. So this is the fourth look. This is the kind of plummy, pinky column uh, right here. So for this look, and it's a lot of pink. I'm going to be the first one to admit it's a little pink for me. Um, I tried it a couple of different ways. I think I probably would be a little bit happier with a little bit more bondage in my crease, but 
this is, I decided to stop. <laughs> so, um, for this look, I went into Alien, the lightest color, and just kind of put that all over my lid from top to bottom, from the lash line up to the brows, and really kind of sheared that out quite a bit. And then I used uh, Alchemy in the crease with just a very small crease brush, just applying a little bit of color there so that I could blend between those two lightest shades. And uh, I finished up by uh, applying Bondage as kind of like my liner color uh, along my outer corner uh, of the upper lash line and dragged it along the lower lash line to add a little definition. I found, I, when I got done with this, I kind of felt like it was just like a lot, a lot of pink. So then I went over into Bobby Dazzle and uh, put that under my brow bone to kind of tone down that pink a little bit. But I think this could be really these pinks can be really pretty uh, t uh, paired up with some of the browns in here. I think oh, that could be really stunning. But for the purpose of this video, I wanted to keep each eye look um, kind of pure, as pure as I could to each column. And so I stopped there. I will say I tried so hard to work Sonic in, but I think Sonic is one of those colors that's very metallic-y. It's really, oh, it looks gorgeous on the eye, but it really needs um, a brown to work with it. So I opted not to include that in this look. So here are the swatches of that column. Here is Alien and Alchemy, Bondage, and Sonic. I think it's interesting, this uh, first color, Alien, really looks much darker in the pan, but ends up being a really beautiful color that you can sheer out. Um, really lovely. So the fifth and final look uh, is using this last column here. So to achieve this look, I uh, started off with uh, applying a little bit of Defy in my crease and kind of blending that out so it was just the way I wanted. And then I went in and used Last Sin uh, in the inner corner of my eye. And then I used a little bit of Angel in the outer corner of my lid and kind of blended those all together. I have to be honest, they practically blended themselves. It did not require a lot of blending. They really just, oh, went together so beautifully. And then I used a tiny, a light hand with the last sin along my brow bone. And I lined my outer corner of my eye with revolver and uh, smudged a little bit of revolver under my lower lash line. So the first one is a little hard to see. The lightest color is last sin. Then we have Angel, then we have Defy, and then we finish up with Revolver. So I really, you know, I, I'm kind of indifferent to the packaging. It's fine. It's not too bulky. It has a nice magnetic closure. I don't think it's the prettiest thing I've ever seen, but, and it also comes with this little pouch. And while some people are saying, oh, isn't that great? You could put other makeup in here. That's not how I would. I would save this exclusively for storing the pouch in there for when you travel with it because this is going to be an awesome palette to travel with because it has everything you could possibly want for any length trip, for whatever you're doing, fancy, casual, whatever. I think, you know, you're going to want to bring this with you everywhere. And I, frankly, have recently traveled with a palette that's like this that has just a little magnetic closure. And it opened up in my uh, makeup bag, and I was very lucky that uh, none of the pa none of the shadows inside got destroyed, but they could have. And so, for something that I spent a lot of money on and has a huge investment, I will definitely be zipping this up in its little case to travel with, so that nothing happens to it inside. So the other things I really like about this palette is there are some really great brow bone colors. I think that. Um, Truth and Last Sin and Bobby Dazzle are all really terrific brow bone colors and they're all a little different. 
So that's nice that there's not a lot of duplication there. There are some really great liner colors in here. So the obvious one is Revolver, but also um, I think the Heroin, this dark like navy color, and um, Bondage here, this kind of uh, eggplant, dark eggplant, brownish color would be awesome as a liner as well. And, and, <laughs> there are a ton of like one and done shadows in here. So that's one of the reasons why I featured a one and done look uh, in this lineup. But I mean, <sighs> I started jotting them down. I'm like, there are so many. I think that Angel, oh my gosh, what a great one and done look. I think that uh, Rain, where's Rain? This brown color, even though it looks dark, it could be sheared out. I think that Vanity could be sheared out and be a gorgeous, light, plummy wash of color all over the lid. Here's the other one. Undone, which is this matte one. Oh my gosh, that would make a great one and done look. There's, I mean, some really great one and done looks. The metallics are fabulous for when you want to have that little pop of color and, you know, really fancy up your look. I'm so excited about the metallics. So, uh, can you tell? I'm like in love with this palette, like a crazy person. So, uh, I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna be traveling with this. I'm gonna use the heck out of this palette. I even venture to say that I like this palette better than the Lorac Pro 2. I'm more excited about using the Vice 3 than I am about using this. So I also picked up early from the holiday offerings from Sephora this little hourglass um, ambient light cheek palette. I think this is going to sell out like crazy. I got an email about it because uh, I have uh, the VIB Rouge status at Sephora. Um, it sold, I could only order it online, and it sold out before I could place an order online for this. So then I waited for it to get restocked, and went to the store, they said they had it in the store, and it wasn't out. And I was like, are you kidding me? So I asked her, they had them in the back, they hadn't pulled them out yet, so I'm, oh, I can't tell you how crazy I am about this palette. As much as I was disappointed in just the ambient lighting powders, these, um, these are gorgeous. I'm wearing the middle one on my cheeks today. It's the limited edition color. It, it's, I, I, I don't even know what I want to say about this because it's, they're so pretty. They offer that luminosity when you put them on the cheek. So it's kind of like a one step glowy, pretty color that you're applying to the cheeks. And for me, I have a tendency to over blush a little bit. Just saying, I do. I can't over blush. Uh, I feel like this kind of is a little bit of a safety net where, you know, because they are a mix that I'm less inclined to over blush. I'll let you know how that works out. I like me some blush. So I'd love to know what things you're excited about, what holiday kits you're excited about. I will be waiting <laughs> for that Sephora sale to do any other purchases. I have my eyes on a few other things, but if I don't get them or they sell out, I'll be okay with that because I'm really happy with these two items that I picked up. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join me for future videos. So thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you real soon. Bye-bye.